Well, owing to the prominence of youth inclusivity and an expansive discussion as to how technology would help us achieve sustainable goals. We're joined from our UO studios this morning by Orok, who is also an ardent youth advocate. Hello, Orok. All right, then. Very well. Nice to have you join us on the show this morning. We're looking at the theme for this year's celebration first. Yeah, the theme for this theme. year's celebration. How apt is the choice of the 2024 theme to commemorate the International Youth Day? Okay, um, answering your question, uh, your question, I believe, first of all, we are in a situation where progress is being seen visibly. Um, that's the first thing we have to look at because um, presently um, I deal with a lot of youths. I try to involve myself in the lives of plenty youth, um, especially in Nigeria. And um, we can see, or I can see practically that um, the youths in this particular demographic are really accepting the technology of the blockchain and the wonders it brings. Um, we can see a beautiful technology where adultricity is being cancelled. We can see a technology where speed is being recognized. And uh, people trying to embrace this technology actually comes with its own issues. That's the truth. Um, and that's normal. We don't expect everything to flow well. But we can see from this part of the world, presently, Nigeria youths are one of the biggest markets in the world when it comes to fintech especially in the blockchain sector we can see the nigerian market and the nigerian youth are one of the biggest when it comes to ad adoption uh, we have few works to do trust me the work we have on ground is few um, most people say it's much but i believe it's few because when we have a lot of people going out there making sure people understand this technology more education more education more adoption we can see greater progress um the youth in this particular demograph the youth in nigeria to be precise have woken up we have um, understood that we have um, the bull in our hands and we are going to utilize that effectively see the blockchain is actually a very wonderful infrastructure it's a wonderful technology it's actually the expectation of every single man because what 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 are we looking for exactly um in in, in the world of finance we are looking for a system where um, address, um adultery can never Occur. We are looking for a system that is fast. Um, we have gone from a pace where we have to actually take our yams to the market and look for buyers um, because we need fish. So we have to look for people that need fish. We have grown past that stage. We have grown past the stage where we walk into the bank just because we want to make a transaction. We have to be on a queue. We have walked past that stage where um, many people want to receive um, f uh, money or aid from their uncles or their nephews or whoever that is outside the country. And you have to wait for days for that to be processed. See, the blockchain is one infrastructure that has been built in a way that, first of all, it counsels scam. That's the truth, whether we like it or not. It counsels scam. It brings speed. And this is exactly what we need in this particular generation. We are not saying what our fathers did. We're wrong. We are just saying that we are growing. We are just saying that we have moved. We are just saying that we have, we have migrated from the slow stone age. How many, how, how many people can believe right now that, that I can use my device? Let's even say our normal traditional finance, our TriFi. I can use my device and make a transaction of millions at the spot. If you look 10, 10 years, 15 years back, if I'm to do that to a, mar a regular market woman, on the road she's not going to accept that she needs what she can see she needs what she can feel she needs what she can count you cannot pick up a, 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 a anakara on the road and expect the woman to receive 1k transfer no she's 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 not she's not um go going to accept that from you but right now we can see ourselves where we don't even need to do something that, that, that people can see and accept value for. We practically can give you mental money. We practically can give you value. And it's on a technology that has been accepted, that has been seen, has been proven to cancel um, adultery. That is not in the, in, the, in the regular part. It's actually adultery in finance because we see a lot of scam going on there. We see bounce check. If you look at our TriFi, the traditional um, finance, we see people doing fake transfers. But we can't see those particular acts done on the blockchain. Why? This is an infrastructure that was built with multiple consensus. Many people at different locations and it's decentralized. The, the, see, the, the problem we have right now in, in finance the technology. is centralization of power. Not just in finance, but other regular sectors is centralization of power. We see power given to one. And that is bound for manipulation as well. But we have seen a technology where... Every single bit 
Now, I'm I'm about, about, is whilst the youths are uh, quick to catch on to this technology, the government of the day has had issues with such technology, particularly uh, with the arrest of certain fintech operators in the country in recent history, occasioned by some perceived financing of terrorism using this untraceable transactions done using blockchain. How do we get the policy makers on board with accepting blockchain as a form of financial transactions in the Nigerian banking sector? In every 12, there have to be a Judas. That's the truth. That's the, that's the truth. There is no technology that, can, that cannot be used for good, and there is no same technology that cannot be used for evil. So you're not going to say because few people, before what they are proposing right now, what they are telling us is being used to fund terrorism, we can actually still see our normal fiat, our paper. They practically still use that for fraud. They use that for scam. They use that to sponsor whatsoever they want to sponsor, any illegality they want to sponsor. So we are not going to say because a technology has come into place that increased speed, that is meant for good, and is being used by evil by some. You are not going to centralize it and say everybody in this particular field. It is wrong. We need education. The government needs to be educated on that. This is a wonderful technology that can aid, apart from finance, it can aid so many stuff. The blockchain is an infrastructure way beyond finance. The blockchain is an infrastructure way beyond cryptocurrency that the youth are seeing it today. The blockchain is an infrastructure that can aid speed and legality in every single thing. So first of all, I think they need proper education. They need to understand what this technology is for. Definitely, the technology can be maximized by anybody to do whatsoever they want to do. But that doesn't mean that you're going to take that particular case and centralize it on everybody. The youth need to be informed. You are not doing... An illegal stuff if you are into the blockchain industry. Yes, you are no. not doing anything illegal if you are building on a wonderful technology like the blockchain. You cannot tell me that everybody building on the website. When the website, when, when dot com came out, it was accepted by everybody. As very 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 very